uh, from the Hollywood Reporter, Bad Boys 4 didn't open too far behind the 62 million domestic uh, opening of Bad Boys for Life mm -hmm. back in January of 2020. Well, I didn't remember it was in 2020. Yeah. That film went on to earn 426 million at the global box office to rank as that year's top earner. Ride or Die has opened in its first 58 markets overseas to 50.9 million for a global start of 107.4 million and is strong doing business over across in Europe and Latin America. Um, what do you think has led to this success? Well, like you were talking I about. I have said marketing all day. Yeah. Because they are go for, yeah, go, yeah. marketing the hell out of this. Mm -hmm. They are all over TikTok on just influencers' pages doing bits. Yeah. They even have that one guy that does The COVID. Yeah. yeah. Yes. That that does that. That. They've done, that. I showed him that, 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 and that, that wasn't even their only one. Word. They did two or three with him that were all similar. Yeah, no, like it's great marketing. Um, obviously, both Will Smith and Martin Lawrence have a good following. But when you bring on other influencers, other celebrities, and they're advertising on, across different platforms, yeah, people are going to want to see the full movie. I mean, I I know I was interested in it because I remember watching Bad Boys 2 in theater. And when Bad Boys uh, 3 came out, I'm like, I'm going to watch it, you know. And this is, I think, I'm not sure if it was before or after the the slap heard around the world <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but I, I do know when i watched the fourth one i was like hopefully people are liking it and i'm like man people are liking it yeah. and i'm like okay i'm liking it too and oh my god yeah well we haven't seen it yet we're planning we're going we're going to go uh see it maybe this weekend but i have to agree the the marketing of it has been uh has, has been extraordinary just like uh reminds me of what's going on with uh with deadpool you know that every time ryan reynolds is uh, doing a deadpool movie that that, that that marketing team is on on fire and they're always on point so they did a great job uh with that i think uh but marketing aside if the movie wasn't you know you know well put together well written or, or and well um produced it, it it, it probably wouldn't have gotten the uh, the, the reviews that it got, but the, the reviews were good. Everybody oh. said everybody said they're enjoying it. Now uh -huh. the question here's my question: the, the direction that they're going. Now, Bad Boys Ride or Die, like Bad Boys Four, is a completely different. Feels like a whole different universe, in my opinion, than what Bad Boys One was. This direction that they're going now. Are you into it? Do you like this direction? I, I think they did, uh, like, honestly, it's still, I think it honors what the original f uh, first two bad boys done, you know, were done by Michael Bay, you know, mm -hmm. these two guys that are in this, you know, in the crap together, mm -hmm. and they're going to make their way through it. They don't know how they're going to do it. They're, they're going to do it, you know, mm -hmm. and uh, they definitely are, uh, uh, well, they're ride or die for they're this bad, one. They're bad boys. They're, they're, I, they're, they're definitely ride or die for this ride, yeah. for sure. I, I agree. The only thing I don't agree on is that, is that it's, it's. It's the Fast and Furious effect. I mean, it's a it's a completely different world. That I mean, they came from just uh, street racers who who steal cars, and now they're international uh, spies and, and and whatnot. So, and and I feel like that's but at, but to survive, I think they have to. I think just like most franchises nowadays, you have to adapt. I mean, you can't do the exact same knock knock joke from uh, you know from ten years ago, twenty years ago. You have to adapt and evolve, and that's. And it's, and it's you know you find it you're finding a whole newer a newer and younger audience, but I feel like I don't mind that they're going you know to these bigger and uh, and and more complicated uh, uh, stories and and getting this whole team of family if you will involved. I don't mind that. It's just that I feel like from what one and two did, I feel like. The formula was more simple. Like it was, a person is in trouble. They need they and these and these bad boys. Uh, they bump into the bad boys to help them, you know, get out of a jam. Like the first one was a person who witnessed her friend being unalive, and then uh, the, the bad boys had to be like protect their, her protectors. Now it's it's going into it's going into that. Oh, I said it. For me, it's going into for that. Me. It's going into that um, spy direction. Like they're like they're inter now they're becoming more international. Uh, almost James Bondish kind of types or something like that, don't, like GI Joe. I don't know. I feel like that's where it's going. Maybe well, that's me. Any sequel that you have, especially in action, it's mm -hmm. always gonna. They're gonna try to one they're up. Gonna, they're gonna try to one up it. They're mm -hmm. gonna try to one up it because they have to. Otherwise, it's like 
you don't want to tell it the feel, same it, joke. It feels like otherwise, it, like it's not just the same joke, but it's like doing higher stakes action, mm. higher stakes stories. It's gonna it's gonna continue escalating the series, you know, to to new heights. No, but I like, but it's gonna get to a point. In my opinion, like it's gonna turn into it's like it's gonna feel like it's a Mission Impossible uh, movie. Where they're gonna now that they're they're crossing over finally, GI Joe and uh, Transformers. I feel like we're gonna be like, okay, maybe we can cross over Fast and Furious with uh, the Bad Boy. What what franchise would work with these guys? I don't know. Um, I do remember there was one time I heard where tw- the Twenty One Jump Street was gonna be mixed with Men in Black, Black. and I'm like. I would like to see that. I think Twenty One Jump Street could work with Bad Boys. Well, they, no, they Men could and, work, uh, but but Men in Black and Twenty One Jump. I was hoping Sony would do. Yeah, that. Um, it's a, it's a hard thing to say what they could go with because Bad Boys curse a lot, and there's so much violence, yeah. and you have to find something else that's rated R that has. And that's same. in the same kind of tone. Yeah. It's, 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 what about um, uh, what's that? At? Uh, the one, uh, the Eddie Murphy Ax- Axel Foley film, uh, Beverly Hills Cop. Cop. That fits. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm not mad at that. I'm not mad at that. That I can mean, fit. Yeah. I mean, I'm not sure if they, if there's a lot of violence or language. Oh yeah. And, oh yeah. <laughs> if there is, then okay, they, it could work. They can, yeah. That yeah, that's a good one. I I, I can see that. Um, in the box office, they oh, what was that that it made in that opening week? It was like uh, that that first weekend it made what fifty fifty point nine uh, million, uh, and. And it's gonna, and you know, it's about to run into a a whole uh, slew of movies that are that are. Oh my goodness, what the heck happened there? I zoomed in too much on that one. But uh, coming up, the projection for uh, Inside Out is about eighty-five uh, a million, and afterwards, uh, Quiet Place uh, they won about forty-five uh, million. So the box office is yeah, they're they're doing great with the budgets of what these movies are are being produced for. What do you think about the direction of uh, of where these of these movies now? Uh, I'm sorry, of the of the box office this year. What do you? Because th- people were worried, like, nah, the movies we're starting the box office is weak. I'm like, I don't I don't agree. I think this is gonna be a big it, year. It's like the thing is, the box office was kind of you know we had to kind of slow down on watching movies, particularly uh, during the year uh, the pandemic happened in 2020. Mm-hmm. So um, obviously, a lot of films didn't perform as well because they had no choice but to release on uh streaming platforms right. just to you know just so, pass the writer's strike as well exactly right. so it's like everything it's like when you're working out you're gonna you're not gonna be strong you're mm. gonna be kind of weak so the more you do the stronger you're gonna get yeah. and the stronger you get the more you can push yourself yeah. to that, doing that, that stuff so you guys you're talking about that hollywood muscle memory baby we exactly. got that that muscle memory got to kick in exactly right? i mean that's that's the thing yeah. it's going it's not going to be overnight it's going to yeah. take time it's take time we got inside out coming out we got uh, we got uh, deadpool and wolverine about to come out we're about to have we're going we're going to have some juggernauts uh, coming which one do you think is going to do you think inside out is going to make a billion mm, maybe like a couple hundred mil, but I think Deadpool, Deadpool and Wolverine. Will. Will. Deadpool definitely will. I, I think. I think Inside Out too could make a billion. Uh, I think the first one make a billion. I don't know. I don't think. I have it to did. look that one up, but I think. But, I, but my 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 money is going to be on Deadpool. Deadpool and definitely. Wolverine. Deadpool definitely. I mean, as the one movie that's going to get the most money this year, probably Deadpool and Wolverine, because you I mean you have Ryan Reynolds, Hugh Jackman, both are looking like the actual characters from the comics and the cartoons. Mm-hmm. Not to mention, it's it'll be the most highest, it'll, it'll be, be the high, most highest grossing R-rated movie, definitely. And but but it, Inside Out, I'm that the, if the question is which is going to make more money, um, I, that's if it makes a billion. You're probably right. Maybe it won't. But if but if I, Inside Out two does make a billion, I would say, and I I would think that both of these movies would make a billion. But if they both make a billion, I think Inside Out would. Edge I'd it say out. like it's a family film. Inside Out, I think might make the high hundred millions for sure, at least. Um, it's Inside Out, the first one, globally made eight hundred and fifty eight. Okay. I would say probably like between five hundred and seven fifty okay. million, okay. just just to be on the safe side, right. because sometimes sequels out surpass them, sometimes they don't, but yeah. still. If they get a good amount of numbers, guess what? No harm, no foul. I mean, no foul. Star Wars Episode One made over 400 mil uh, domestic, and Star Wars Two about 300, and so on and so forth. You know. True enough. All right. All right. Well, let us know what you guys think. What do you think? Inside Out Two is gonna make a billion, or do you think uh, is Bad Boys gonna make a billion? <laughs> I'm like, no, that one, that's not gonna make a billion. But 
I think it's, uh, I think these box office uh, results. I think they're gonna be. Uh, I think they're gonna be just fine. I think that uh, Inside Out 2 A Quiet Place it's going to be a good time uh, I think the box office is going to be just fine let us know what you guys think thank you guys for watching our video I really do appreciate it remember you can support our show by becoming a member or a patron so click the subscribe button don't forget to ring the bell for notifications so you'll never miss out on when we go live or post new content let's stay connected grow this community together like subscribe comment and let's keep talking